All right, y'all. I ordered my truck last week, and here's this week. It's here. They built it in one week, seven days, to the exact, almost exactly the way I requested. It's pretty sick, though. I'm not really sure about these. I know there's a little hole that goes through, but I think that might be for water runoff or something. I'm not sure how functional they are. Yeah. I think that might be aesthetic reasons, looks. But you got the 22s. Oh yeah, sorry, this is a Laramie black appearance um, with the black appearance package on it, 2019 and it has just about everything it's basically a limited in my opinion a limited a sports limited Got the roof leather the mats this is really almost exactly how i built mine And I didn't even, I didn't put a bed liner in it either because I want to put the carpet, that carpet rug in it, and uh, low max tunnel cover over it. So looks like these are bigger, if I'm not mistaken. This is a four by four. Um, actually, no, this is not the truck that I built. Um, they Dilla just got this one in today, though. And I thought it was really interesting because I just ordered a Laramie um, black with the black appearance package and I had not seen any of these online in any videos, no forms, anything, nothing on YouTube besides when they originally came out with the, uh, with the truck at the uh, auto show in Dallas or whatnot. I've seen them at all the little reveals but nothing in person nothing in real life haven't seen any videos in real life up close person so figured i'll try and show everybody these now the issue that a lot of people have and i know these tow mirrors i don't know why they're doing this but it shows on the sticker that it did come with the 360 cameras but obviously y'all see that those are not there because the tow package was added which removes the 360 cameras. So now you just get a manual mirror. It's, I don't know why they would do that on a sport, but I get some people need to tow and they still like the sport look, but I don't think most people want that. They want their 360 mirrors and their short regular everyday, uh, or their 360 cameras and their short everyday mirrors, which I think kind of takes away from the sport look a little bit on top of it being chrome, but it's extra long. So, but that's my personal opinion. Um, I don't know what all this is up here. I haven't seen that on some of the other trucks. It looks like a lot of hardware in there. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put my dash cam because usually I put my dash cam right here. So I'll find, have to find a new spot for that. Let's go inside. Obviously the running boards here, the mats. I know I, I upgraded mine to the mats, the rubber mats. These look pretty cool. Looks like you can just wipe them down. Um, we got the leather. I don't, oh, there's the suede. I knew there was some kind of suede insert in it, but it's mostly leather, I guess. And, Hop in right over here. Here's the mirror or the uh, navigation screen. Huge 12 inch Harman car. I've been getting mixed reviews on the speaker system. I believe most people so far are not happy with it. I really hope I'm happy with mine, but I'll test it out here in a little bit. I don't want to put it on the on the video or anything 
But uh, I'm sure y'all can watch videos on how all this stuff works later. But that's cool. That's only a $1,000 upgrade, so in my opinion, why not? Um, here's what the steering wheel is going to look like. I think it's just a regular steering wheel. Of course, it's heated. I don't think too much has changed. Just like I said, this one's a four wheel drive. The one that I have, let me turn this AC down. Uh, I think it's a four wheel drive, or this is a four wheel drive. The one that I have is a two wheel drive. Uh, I didn't, I don't have a use for four wheel drive. Uh, I just like trucks, I'm a big guy. And uh, every now and then I need to make a run to Ikea or Home Depot. So that would uh, come in handy for me. And uh, I like nice stuff. So, let's see, open, there it goes. So, I got the roof on mine as well. Uh-oh, no, it is too hot for that. Um, there we go. So, here's the rear view, the rear. Looks like the seats are already reclined a little bit. Um, nothing really special about the blackout appearance to the back seat area i mean besides it being nice already but it's about the same and remember this is a laramie um so that's what we basically get in the back seat on a laramie and the mats again here i'll go back there and the regular storage box oh here's the key anyone was curious about that ram so that's the laramie key i heard that they're slightly different has the charging pad i think you get that on the uh level two and then the uh, what is it the the advanced safety group is what gets you the 360 cameras but when you get that tow package or the tow mirrors, it takes it away, it deletes it. So a lot of y'all want to keep that in mind. 19 speakers. I've yet to find all 19 speakers. If y'all find them, let me know. And then here's the mat again in the back seat. I've never had rubber mats, so I think these look cool. Looks like they pop in, that's cool. I think it's a little bit harder. No, just as easy to get to this. Maybe a little bit harder. This isn't as thick as I thought it would be. It's kind of flimsy a little bit. It's not like uh, the ones you aftermarket ones that you can order. I mean, it works, but it's it's a low. Hmm. I thought it'd be thicker than that. <clears throat> the extra spot space that you have. And just drop that. Love that roof. Uh, what's something else that everyone's talking? Oh, oh, on the forums, uh, the blackout does give you the black. Um, I guess the inside roof, whatever you want to call it, the black lined roof, which on most, I believe, if it's not the limited, it's like a gray or tan roof cut off or something like that. But with the blackout Laramie, you do get the black for your rooftop cover. No, I don't, some of you might not have noticed that, but yeah, that's something that maybe some people want to know about. And then no bed liner or anything like that, which is, like I said, the way I got mine as well. So this is almost really to the T of how I built mine. Like I said, I haven't seen any, and I really like this look. Uh, I sat in one like this at the Dallas um, show and I just fell in love with it. It was between this and the F-150 and I figured this one had a little bit more to offer for my money. And I ran with it. So mine is now a week being built. It's in what they call a D1 status, I believe. So I don't have a Ram box. I don't have the E-Torque. So I'm hoping, you know, six seven more weeks max hopefully but uh yeah so any questions or whatnot let me know 
If I miss something, let me know. But I'm in love with this truck and I can't wait to get mine, hopefully in July. I'm gonna try and go downstairs and see if we can get uh, what it looks like. All right, here we go. So we'll get a little night, dark view of it. Um, check out the lights. Or there the LED lights? I like these lights a lot. There, I say I like them better than the Longhorn and the Limited. All right, those are going to be the brights, and then let's see if we can get the fogs on. All right, and then here's it with the fogs on. So those are also LED. And then let me walk around here. LED. Yeah, so pretty excited as y'all can tell. I feel like a little child right now, and I can't wait to get mine. But sorry if it was a shaky video and I ramble on a lot, so that's that.